A Swedish Instagram model is coming under fire from her followers for pretending to be black. Welcome to Inform Overload, I'm your host Johnny Rogers and if you're new to the channel, we tell you about the most interesting news stories we find on the internet and we make them more entertaining. Cultural appropriation is defined as the adoption of elements of a minority culture by members of the dominant culture. Because of the presence of power imbalances that are a byproduct of colonialism and oppression, cultural appropriation is distinct from equal cultural exchange. In this case, Instagram model Emma Hallberg is being accused by her followers for appropriating black culture in order to boost her own platform. Emma has a very tan complexion which kind of reminds me of the Jersey Shore. You can practically smell the tanning bed from her photos. And after she vehemently opposed this notion that she's claiming to be black, she still manages to appear on other Instagram pages meant for black models. Which makes people think that she's black, or at least mixed race. The backlash began with a simple tweet stating that she is in fact white, to which the internet began to lose their goddamn minds over. The tweet went viral with more than 12,000 retweets and over 29,000 likes. The backlash was so intense that Emma has disabled all comments on her Instagram pages after receiving several hateful and threatening comments. Some people are even equating her Instagram to catfishing which was a weird dating trend where people pretended to be someone else. Except in Emma's case, they're calling it blackfishing. I mean, I think every black fisherman just collectively went, oh, come on! And as you would expect, the 19 year old clearly star for more attention went on the defensive instead of just staying radio silent. She began making Instagram stories to explain herself and creating posts detailing the reasons for her features that people are saying were a charade. She writes, You've probably seen these two pictures beside each other all over Twitter, Instagram and Facebook where they are called the before and after. The left picture was taken two years ago right before summer with barely any makeup and my hair straight. And in the photo, Emma states that she's been accused of frequent spray tans, taking melatonin, getting her hair permed and lip injections. She claims that she's never done any of those things, but I'm not buying it. And apparently neither did her fans. This just caused even more backlash from before. Even her fellow Swedes pointed out that there is no way in hell that's her natural tan, saying I wouldn't even get that tan with three layers of spray tan cause we're white as f Plus, she only has like two months to get tan in Sweden. It's cold and dark here 90% of the time. Which to me sounds like Emma's Instagram. I guess she was showing a bit of her Swedish side all along. The main reason worth talking about this is the fact that she's making mad advertising money for being something that she's not. Now most people who are social influencers do this. They only show their happiest moments giving us the illusion that their life is perfect. With Emma, she's benefiting from the look of another culture. It's a messy line and I don't know if people are just being too sensitive nowadays and want to call shit out whenever they see the slightest infraction or if it really is cultural appropriation. It's not really for me to decide. I'll jokingly call out others for dancing poorly because hey, that's a white guy thing. But that's mostly self deprecating so it oddly makes it okay. Emma has stated that I do not get my sponsorships, work opportunities and collaborations because of the color of my skin. I get it because of the way I style my clothes and create my makeup looks. And she's totally right. She doesn't get the opportunities because of the color of her skin. Because she's white. And she does get that because of the way her makeup looks, mostly because it makes her look black. But I want to turn the question to you. Do you think she's just really tanned or do you think she's pretending to be black on purpose? Let me know down in the comments what you think. With that, let's entertain your brain with some comments. Ooh, bad white guy dancing, comment time, let's do this. <laughs> Cheesy James says, Johnny are you 420 friendly? That would be awesome because you'd be a baked potato jester, lol. <laughs> Considering it's legal in Canada, I dabble a little bit. Shout out if you get that reference. Also, my favorite time of day is 20 after 4. Ooh, Daily Weed says, please don't be harsh on him. Johnny is getting better and better. He needs to relax a bit. You just need a little moments to be a hero. Maybe I need some more of your name to relax. The Space Knight says, Johnny, I swear I thought you were Landon from Landon Productions. How did you, I mean, how, how could you? That would be brown fishing and he's my boss so I would never do that. SEC production says I would rather shove a rose thorn down my ear than listen to this ASMR thing. Finally, someone had to say it. Phoenix Fire 4 says potato jester for the win. Happy to serve my little spuds. 
Thank you for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Also, if you have any hot tips on any new and exciting stories that you want us to cover, just find my Instagram in the description below and send me a DM. Plus, if you want any more videos like this one, just click the playlist on the screen. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers, and until next time, take care.